sometimes it can go insane strong if you can open with the leggy and they don't like have that, an that answer. Texas is a good matchup for all those all the mid range things. They, you can you have so much card advantage. So you say that in Texas is a good matchup for goblins, but isn't it that it wasn't that good of a matchup until Dominaria came out? Didn't Goblin Shane Whirler change the complete no. deck? No, it was uh, the, what's it called? The new lord? The one that can destroy? Trash Master. Yeah, the Trash, the master. trash master. That yeah. changed the matchup. And the the, uh, the Crater Maker. Uh, that's the one you can put one mana in, sacrifice, and then and two to damage. destroy non land, colorless permanent. Oh, yeah. And so you can case. destroy Eldrazi. And there you the, 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 Ah, Mulligan to six on the left from Lee. What? Tom the Dagger. On, on, on the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so, um, as I said, it can go very quick if you open with the Lucky. Yeah. It's the now we see open. the Lucky um, on Nico's side. So. This is almost the perfect start it's for perfect um, start. only w one exception. He opened with the mountain, and you want to open with Cavern of Souls. Yeah, okay, but goblins, but it doesn't rest. matter now because yeah, Tom the Decker didn't have a force. Didn't have a force, yeah, of course, but still, what? the Cavern of Souls. It, it feels like yeah, um, it's more powerful <laughs> yeah, <indeed. laughs> because then yeah. it's always like I hear. I have a couple of lackey and you can't do anything about yeah. it. So let's hope for Tom the Decker, he has an answer. Um, the answers are Swords to Plowshares, yeah. there you have it, Swords to Plowshares. Nico Hall are just gaining one life um, for his Goblin lackey. Um, and he gets an Exile. Yeah. But I think it's Nico's f no, not that many experience with the deck. I, I have no know, idea. I don't know I, uh, Nico Holart. I, I never saw him uh, on our tournament I before. I saw him looking at Swords to Plowshares. So <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think he has mm, yeah, many experience with Legacy. Yeah, yeah. Because you see it everywhere in the Swords. Okay. Um, about the play he made. Now we see he's dropping Aethervale vale at land. this moment. Um, and no land. And no land, yes. So at this moment I'm, I'm asking myself was it the right play to drop Goblin Lecky turn one instead of the Eater Veil? Because uh, then you, yeah. you you can suspect an answer like Force of Full or um, Swords to Blow Shares. Yeah. Yeah? If you just take out the mount and you play Eater Veil, I know you're going slower, eh? but yeah. you take Eater Veil out. If they force Eater Veil at that moment, next turn you can drop Lecky and probably be sure it drops at that moment. Um, you just take it to one in your turn, yeah? then you yeah, play another goblin, then if Tom the Deckers makes uh, a mistake at that moment, I don't say it's a mistake, but if he takes his two mana, uh, like now, and he plays Butter Blossom, yeah. end of turn you tap Eater Veil to bring the Lucky in, and then you can attack freely towards uh, Tom the Decker and bring in some new goblins. Yeah, so but if I was Nico, I wouldn't have kept a hand. With only yeah. one land. Yeah. Because it only has Lackey. You don't have a cavern. You only have Lackey. Yeah. And you have an Aether Vial. Yeah. If you play Goblins, you want to have yeah also lands. Because you play Wasteland. You play mm -hmm. Richardson Port. And you yeah, want to, to, to lock your opponent a little yeah, bit. And you yeah. want to cast some. Yeah. Want to cast something, of course. And that. Yeah. He's already dirtling. And he's not yeah. even out of the blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. So, yeah. That's why I'm don't like so I understand that you say I wouldn't keep it hand, but well, well he wouldn't keep the hand. He should have mulligan yeah. at this moment. I, I I understand why he keeps it because he has lackey. lackey and if you lackey connects, yeah, you have a better start. But so isn't that the reason more like to say I'm right and you should open with either vial then? Yeah, but yeah. if you only have the one lander, that's if you have the one lander, okay, but I should have. He yeah, he shouldn't kept, but he, he kept. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking at the deck from Nico, then he's also playing three skirt prospectors. I think that's a bit much. I don't know. Explain what is a skirt prospector. It's a 1 1 goblin, and you can sack a goblin to. A for red mana. Yeah, for, for red, red mana. mana. Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. And it costs one, but to play three of it. Yeah, one, yeah, I, yeah. one or two I understand, but three is a little much. It doesn't do a lot. No, it's, uh, it's it, a it's one one that makes a mana later on, so yeah, it's indeed. a tiny love, it's a bad lotus petal. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the other yeah. one gives rope mail. Yeah. yeah, also, I mean, it's cost one. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. So, but uh, meanwhile, we see Nico uh, has dropped another goblin leggy on the field. It's not that powerful anymore. No, because... At this moment, yeah. no, um, because on the decker side, it's already filled up with, with um, spirit fairy tokens, fairy, fairy, fairy tokens, I'm and sorry, fairy uh, tokens, elementals. and uh, elemental tokens from the young pyromancer. So no, this game, Tom the Decker is going to run over Nico. Yes, yeah, Nico is not going to come back from this, because he still doesn't have a land, and yeah, if you don't, still don't have a land, it's yeah not looking good for you. Yeah. So when Tom the Decker can uh, play um, and it would be Kevin good. therapy. Yeah, also. And and it this is very be, good at this moment. It, yeah, okay, but it doesn't even matter because Nico can't do anything with the card, so why would you... Yeah, I still... Do yeah, but you know the the opponent's hand. It's always nice to know the opponent's hand. Yeah. You get you get a token from it at this moment. You can sack uh, the new token as well to choose other cards out of his hand. He has Eater Vial on two at this moment. Yeah, he's, uh, Tom Maybe. is now explaining the card because Nico doesn't yeah. know it. Oh, that's not good. No, it's... You see, I think an instigator, two incinerators, a ringleader, and... Yeah, but this uh, is what I mean. And like, the Siege Gang Commander. Yeah, it, that's why you kept it, I guess, because he had siege, of the Siege Gang Commander also yeah, in his opening hand. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you drop Blackie, you can swing with it, you can drop Siege Gang Commander, yeah. then the deck goes insane. The you reason, just need an extra land at that moment and need to cycle the yeah. incinerators, and then the deck goes nuts all the time. Yeah. But Nico can't come back because he doesn't have a chain roller in his list. He yeah. doesn't have a, a sharpshooter. So he's okay. not going to get rid of all the tokens here. And they just keep on coming and going. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And so, uh, as well, Tom the Decker is playing Bitter Blossom. It's, it's not a card that you see a lot these times anymore in Legacy. No, but it's still not a bad card. And I think he likes the card a lot. Yeah. But yeah, it's... <coughs> so Tom the Decker did sacrifice a creature, I believe, yeah. to flashback the, the Cabal Therapy. And he wants to take the incinerators out. Yeah. Because, yeah, th those are two cards and he doesn't want his yeah. pyramids <laughs> to die. So we see Nico Holabs, he dropped a, I, I think it's a Warren Instigator? Yeah, it's a Warren yeah. Instigator. Um, what does a Warren Instigator do, Dries? It's a Lucky with Double Strike. It a Lucky with Double and Strike. And two. Yeah, okay. That's the tiny explanation, because it's, yeah, for two mana, one one, Double Strike with the same effect that Lucky has. Okay, so you can bring in two creatures if he hits to a player. Uh, Your first, yeah. first strike, you can drop one creature. I don't know the exact uh, text on... It's the gator. Is it exactly the same as Lackey? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I you, know the goblins play. If you if you if you play, <laughs> Ragdoll, play the deck. because if you play Ragdoll's Charm in your uh, deck, if you play Black Red and you play Ragdoll's Charm, and you you choose the mode, uh, each creature deals one damage to its owner. You yes. can put a goblin into play with Goblin Lackey because he deals dealt damage to the player. Okay. So. Uh, now we see the Warren Instigator. Oh, we can bring it up on screen. And, uh, One moment. Our director broke some stuff, so we have to wait. Maybe we can pop it up later on and see yeah. how it works exactly. So he's, he's attacking with the 1-1 one, one double striker. Um, so Tom the Decker is gonna double just, blocks, of course. Yeah. One dies with the first strike damage, and, and then both creatures die with the regular no, yeah. um, damage. So, uh, I think it was a bad call to attack at that moment, not? Yeah, it's a bad call, but yeah, what... Does Nico has uh, any... Out? Yeah. Um, no, I said it. His out was like Chain Whirler. Playing yeah. Chain Whirler, but he doesn't have it. He doesn't play Chain Whirler on his list? Nope. Okay. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, Instigator says opponent, so you can't do the Ragdoll's Charm trick. Oh. That's too bad. <laughs> That's the bad. So a goblin lucky just says whenever goblin lucky deals damage, damage to a player. To a player, a then player. You can, so uh, if it deals damage to yourself, yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah. put a goblin. You can, okay, okay. <laughs> that, that's very nice. I think it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and Ragdoll's charm is not that bad. And it used to be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but but Leggy is an old card in the in the Magic scene. Yeah. Eh? It's a, and the Regulus Charm is newer. N- newer. So maybe they didn't think at that. Um, but when they printed. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think it, about I don't the Regulus Charm. I don't think uh, it pops up that much. But it's nice. It's a good sideboard card, Regulus Charm. If it's a good card overall, because it can exile graveyard. Uh, yeah. And it's just a niche thing to do, but if it can come into, yeah, it can come in handy sometimes, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. If you play, because I, I like the mono red covers at the moment, but if you play black red, I think you should play Ragnar's Charm. Yeah. <laughs> That's my opinion. But yeah, Tom the deck, deck is looking very good, by the way. But yeah, maybe because it's that much ahead. Uh, of Nico, hmm. so I I believe it's Nico isn't a really um, experienced uh, player. He, no, he, it, it looks to me like he has to ask a lot about what cards do. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't was think he's a bad, What's I, happening? That yeah. does we were not. Outside with him just before. So yeah, I know. I think he's more into modern. Uh, I think he's a newer player because oh, he okay. recently had at a pre-release his DCI number he, I, he overheard at the desk and yeah they spelled something wrong and he got a new one here so it's yeah it's not that ah. I don't think it's a very of a, it's a newer player I guess so it's a newer player and he's already into legacy <laughs> why not cool. it's the best format and maybe he yeah. played it okay, but he, maybe he played it back in the day at the table at the kitchen table you know how it, how it went yeah yeah need to need. yeah He's playing goblins, like like goblins. It's uh, like is, one is of their oldest tribal decks. Yeah, of course. And is there a player in the legacy scene that can say I never played goblins, never of my life? Uh, yeah, there is. There are some. Yeah, yeah, players. of course, there are some but, players. Yeah, but yeah, who wouldn't want to play goblins? Yeah. that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of players will agree. So no, but uh, it's like. Indeed, it's a tribal deck. You can build it together. You don't but need the cards in any other the deck, deck, of is course. Pretty good at the moment, right now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it just all works together. Like you have Murfolk tribal decks; they just put out a whole lot of lords and the true game. But this deck has to work together to get there, and that's I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a shenanigans besides uh, the cards. Yeah, but they also have well. to work together. It's like Pyromancer and Instant and Sorcery; they have to work yeah. together to get there, and mm. that's yeah. I like. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's something I like about the deck. But so, but uh, last tournament you played goblins as well. Uh, no. I oh, know you were playing. Oh, here I played goblins. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean uh, on the master series. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, yeah, you played goblins. I'm not uh, talking about us. <laughs> um, so you played goblins, and then you played um, against. That in Texas. Yeah. One game you told me you played. Yeah. And uh, your opponent played. Flicker wrist, Flicker wrist. <laughs> on my siege gang <laughs> on commander. Your siege gang commander. It was like the, the best the play you could do for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you had a siege gang commander at play with four, it three, makes, three tokens. It makes three tokens. Yeah. And then your opponent end of turn. Yeah, he, f- he filed, filed a flicker wrist pin, but he was in a bad position, and he was yeah. like, "I filed flicker wrist pin, and yeah, he was looking at my board." I didn't know what to target. I targeted my siege gang. I said, "Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> it's all fine by me." Yeah. <laughs> so his siege gang went out, came back and played against uh, three new tokens. So thank you for well, the three. But my tokens were. Uh, I had also a trash monster, and my I was like block with my three tokens for damage, stack them all to destroy two artifacts. And yeah. yeah, he was not really happy about that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. So. Um, how many chain dwellers are you playing then? In the well, one, one in the main, one in the side. But only you, one. Yeah, but you have. You can fetch it to matron. Yeah, with matron, with your ringleaders, and in this situation, if you have matron, you can go just go get it, and it's yeah, it will just devastate Tom the Decker's board. You just have nothing. Yeah, left. that's what I mean. At this moment, it's yeah, like yeah. the insane but card. But I don't know why Nico is still playing because. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I think. Sharpshooter works as well, but he doesn't play as an Atlas. No, ah, okay. he doesn't play Sharpshooter. Maybe a, or I didn't this is it. what is it? I don't know that card. This year, the last card. It's the Goblin King. 
I said king. I, I thought it was ting. <laughs> ting. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know. He has a goblin king and a sidebar. Two sting scourgers. That's the bounce. Two goblin so. tinker. Then pyrokinesis. <coughs> I don't like pyrokinesis. Uh, you have to exile a card. Maybe you borrow it to that okay. someone. Then just... Yeah, yeah sure, but then the, someone could update the list. Yeah. yeah. He has Blood Moons inside, that could be very good against yeah, the Tumble Decker against at this Tumble moment. Decker is like really Yeah, I think so. I don't know he plays any ba he, he plays one swamp on one island in his deck. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So he only has two basics if you can drop a, a blood moon at the right moment. But yeah, if he needs to if he, if he needs to fetch them uh, that because he knows he brings in blood moons. He will be a lot slower and a lot less consistent than this because, yeah. Okay, so um, Eater Vial was on 5 and yeah, he Eater brought Vial in. Yeah, the Siege Cannon. And Tom. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, was t I was thinking about where are the tokens. Yeah. But yeah. now uh, he brought them into play, the tokens. Yeah, uh, but he was doing it like ability on the trigger on yeah, the stack. Yeah, trigger on the stack, blow a response, bring yeah. in the tokens. Because okay. otherwise, uh, yeah. Yeah, he could shoot. Yeah, two he, damage he shouldn't do it, the, I don't know why, but. He didn't shoot two damage to. Yeah, because Tom the Decker plowed in response of the trigger of Siege Gang. Yeah, so because you can sack the Siege Gang. Or the Lackey. Or the Lackey. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. He had to pay two mana to sacrifice his and Siege Gang at that moment. Something, and I guess. The yeah, the young Pyromancer yeah. at this moment. Yeah, of course. That that that's would have been the, yeah. the right play to do. But I don't know why Nico was still playing. I don't think he maybe came. just to learn a little yeah. bit. Yeah, maybe. If you're a new player, just yeah. play all your um, matches, so you learn yeah, a lot. Absorb it all and you yeah, learn yeah. a lot from playing as Tom, especially as well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. He'll, he'll help you out. But yeah, it seems but like it's it's a close to deal at this moment. But let's look at Tom's list because we're all the, always talking about the goblins yeah. i know it's my fault but <laughs> he, he sure has a brew i guess but it's like the stock cards and then you have bitter blossom uh the new planeswalker the kaya do you know the black white one yeah. for three mana yeah the yeah you can exile kaya? two cards kaya the uh also <laughs> <laughs> yeah that one <laughs> yeah. um it's a three mana, a planeswalkers with three loyalty, I think. And, and plus you can one. plus one, you can exile two cards from a graveyard. Yeah. If a creature card is exiled this way, you gain two life. Yeah. For plus one or minus one, minus one, minus one I believe, you can destroy a non lands permanent exile. with converted exile. Yeah, you maybe can, it's also plus one, but I think it's minus one. Yeah, it can be. But you can then exile a permanent with converted mana costs one or less non land. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be very insane if it was yeah. uh, just a bird. Uh, it's on this and then um, the ultimate is for uh, while minus, yes, minus five. Seven, minus five. Uh, yes, minus five indeed. Um, deals damage. Deals equal damage to, to all the cards in exile, exile. that players yeah, own. Indeed. Just, so it's not that bad of a card. He also has the ready ingenious iconoclast. Do you know that one? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's also for three mana. Uh, you can plus one for a 1-1 one, one defender token, artifact defender token. Okay. You can then, I think it's minus one, minus two, sack a, art, a creature, I guess, or an artifact, I don't know, to destroy something. A creature. To destroy a creature. And for, I don't know what the ult does, I think it copies something on the board three times. It's a, it's a, I have no idea. It's a black it's from a graveyard comes I have three no idea. token yeah. copies ah, into play. Something like that. Okay, so um, <laughs> these, uh, meanwhile you are talking about the planeswalkers, um, Nico um, is convinced as well. Um, it was, he couldn't win anymore. Enough. Yeah, it was enough. So, um, Shouldn't it, forget to pack his eight file on the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very important. Very important. Like a match or sideboard? Um, let's talk about sideboard a little bit. I don't think it will um, take that oh, long. Oh, but let's um, talk about the deck some more. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because the also, Tom, Tom the does also play two opposition. Oh, that's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's why he has all the token makers. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> the opposition says you can tap what? Uh, opposition is for, it's an enchantment for two blue and two colorless mana. Yeah. And it says um, tap an untapped creature you control. 
Yeah. And then you can tap a permanent your opponent controls. Is it a permanent or is it? It's a permanent. Everything? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty what convinced. Are we about? Opposition. Opposition. <coughs> Opposition. Yeah, I think it's a permanent. Yeah, I'm not very sure it's a permanent. But <laughs> yeah, we'll see it. So we are really trying to bring up some cards uh, on the screen as well, but uh, the director has a lot of oh, problems. Oh, you can only tap artifact yeah, creature yeah, lands. Okay, so not the permanent artifact creature lands, no enchantments and no planeswalkers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, who cares about <laughs> who those? cares? So uh, I think if we say artifact creature or land, it's good enough to tap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't think there are other. Nope. Other, and if um, you have that lot of tokens, like he made game one, yeah, you're not getting much done, uh, I guess. Uh, it's indeed. like upkeep, tap your land, <laughs> mm -hmm. tap your creatures, and I still attack with the rest I have. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> so actually, you, you can tap a Blitzwalker with it as well. Yeah, if it turns a creature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you um, transform your Gideon into a 4 4 creature or something, yeah, you can but tap why it would you do that? And just to make it a little bit cooler. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now um, we know a little bit about Tom the Decker's deck. He's he's uh, trying to play a control version. Is it? Yeah, I don't know if it's. Yeah, maybe it is control. Yeah, we we see opposition to control the complete board. We see um, we see intuition on his deck. Yeah. Why would what would you get just cable therapies with it or? He's playing a one-off, and he's playing three Lingering Souls. Oh, yeah. It, it looks a good one to, indeed, yeah. you, you can look like um, whatever you want. Um, a Cable Therapy, Lingering Souls, and another Lingering Souls. Give me one, it's all okay at that moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah? So, uh, he, he has a lot of flashback cards in his deck. So, maybe Intuition isn't that bad at all, indeed. Yeah. I, he, he said to us... Get Get me on future, I have a spicy brew. Yeah, he has yeah. that for us. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, I think he's gonna make... He's going to go pretty far with this list. Yeah? I think it looks good. If he doesn't see too many mono red prison decks, I don't know what. I think this yeah. is a good deck against Miracles also. Because uh, you have a lot of planeswalkers. You yeah, have like yeah. a lot of tokens. Yeah. They can terminus once, they can terminus th three, four times, I don't know. But three they, times, yeah. They, yeah, they can't keep up with the tokens from Bit of Blossom and Lingering Souls and the Pyromancer, and I don't know what. Yeah. Okay, and um, like enchantments, main deck is a little. Uh, he has indeed too much. You have opposition that can be a problem. Yeah. You have the Planeswalkers that can be a problem. Um, yeah, the too many to Bitter Blossom. Uh, the only card that is a problem. Can him down is like Blood Moon, and uh, what's the Miracles card? Hard called back to basics. Back to basics, yeah, of course. Th th there are two very big problems yeah. for uh, Tom, Tom the Decker. If, they s if one of these cards hits the battlefield, I resolve. So uh, can we? See, uh, we didn't see. We didn't look at the at the table. So um, what what would the cyborg be? We didn't see anything. But for the goblins, he brought in two blood moons, I believe. Yeah. Um, he has two Thomas scripts. Is, is it good enough? To nah, I don't think so. We, we saw a couple therapy, but we didn't see a Lingering Souls, I believe, in the first match. Nope. Maybe if you know Lingering Souls, but still, I don't think it, it slows you down. Yeah, I it, don't think it should bring it in. Uh, Thomas scripts only really for Dredge and yeah. um, Tendrils. You don't bring it in against any other deck because nope. your deck slows down a lot, so it's not good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Red Elemental Blast? Mm. Two pieces to count the four full Thunder? I, I think so. I think, Man, I think you should bring it in just yeah. just in case you you I you don't know if you play chase. That's the card they most of the time know, and that's yeah. a blue card you want to counter that. Yeah, or just destroy but, it when it's on a bit. Yeah, field. but they don't want to bring it in against yeah. Elders. But I get if Nico doesn't play it uh, that much and he sees blue, he's gonna bring them in. Yeah, of course. Charles of the White. Yeah, would we'll bring him in because just to play can, the one. Uh, Brainstorm, you can Ponder, shut down the potions. cantrips. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Ah, okay. Um, and the uh, pyrokinesis, it's bad against Thunder Decker. No, it's good. Because it has a lot so. of tokens. You can want to destroy four That's tokens. You can destroy four creatures with pyrokinesis. 
if you don't have yeah, Chain you Whirler, can, you, you can would, divide the damage yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would bring yeah. that in. Yeah. yeah, of course. And uh, maybe the Goblin King. I would bring also in. What does the Goblin King do? Oh, and Tom is already blind cable therapying. Yeah. I think he's missing. Uh, now we can see um, the hand of Nico. He let out an Earth Misa. That's just a fetch land. Yeah. We can go for a mountain next turn. We see yes, Wasteland, Cavern of Souls, and another fetch land on hand. His yeah. creatures are Ringleader, Pile Driver, and, and the uh, middle one is. Cranko Mob Boss. Okay. Um, you know what Cranko does? It's the one no, that. No, but paths. first something else. Keep yeah. on Mulligan. Uh, it's very slow. Keep, yeah, but it's keep, somewhat. Yeah, yeah so it's a better hand than the last one. You have yeah, yeah, four okay. mana, yeah. you have a wasteland, which is good against Tom. If Tom has only one land now and he wastes him, yeah. Yeah, okay. And he has a wasteland. Um, is it now? I think wasteland is very important in this matchup because Tom is playing a very greedy list. Yeah. And you saw against uh, game one that he had all base, non basics and all kind of different colors, and so you want to waste him. Hmm. Um. You don't have anything to play at this moment. Um, Wasteland, waste. Tom just threw away a card to look in your hand. It's just the same. Yeah. So now at this moment, Wasteland, waste. I would waste. Yeah, and just don't play yeah. anything. Okay. So this is the correct play to do. I think it is. I think that's the correct play to do because yeah, maybe Tom was greedy. He was trying to keep you from mana, and so yeah. Oh, he has the basic. And he finds a uh, another underground sea. At this yeah. Moment. Okay. Does he play two islands? Um, main deck he has one island and one swamp and no basics on site. So he has only um, two basics uh, in his complete list. Yeah, I thought I saw another basic, but maybe I'm wrong. No. Um, so Nico has another fetch land. So next land should be the fetch land, not the cavern of souls already. Uh, um, you you can guess. I believe Tom the Dagger's not playing any wastelands, is he? I don't know. I don't believe so. No, He's playing too many colors. Too greedy, yeah, yeah, that would be way too greedy to play. That's impossible. Okay, he's leading out with Cavern of Souls. Yeah, same uh, goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have anything to play at this moment? The pile driver. The pile driver. Um, the pile driver. One red, one colorless. Yeah. Um, pro blue. Pro blue. It's one, two. Not that bad. If he but attacks, he gets plus one, plus two, plus zero for each other attacking goblin. Yeah, that that can be devastating. Yeah, and <laughs> it can go very fast. Yeah. Th this was one of the the bigger creatures, like yeah, twelve years ago in yeah. the deck. Yeah, it was yeah. like the creature to go to if yeah. you want to. Yeah, it's yeah. still the creature to go to to deal a lot of damage, but yeah, it's not the most important creature anymore. Not anymore, no, no. indeed. But as I said, like. 12 years ago, that was just the creature you wanted to play four of them. I don't know. Probably now nobody's playing four of them anymore. Uh, no. The pile driver? No. Uh, yeah. Nico does. <laughs> oh, he does? <laughs> I think so, he but that's did. what I said. I, maybe he just found an old list somewhere. Yeah, but why would, would you look somewhere? I don't know why. Look, he's playing four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fear pile drivers, indeed. What's this? Legion? Legion? Loyalist. Legion Loyalist? Yeah. <laughs> What's the Legion crash. Loyalist? Yeah, it's from Gate Crash, and if you have three or more attacking creatures, uh, it gets uh, first strike against your creatures. I don't know. First strike trample? So I don't know what they get, but they get some abilities. Okay. First strike and trample can be blocked by creature tokens this turn. Ah! <laughs> so actually, it's very good on this matchup. Yeah. What a very good meta call is that! <laughs> this is like the most <laughs> insane meta call we saw <laughs> last year or something. I don't think Tom the Decker is expecting that card. No, <laughs> if that, if that hits the battlefield, Tom the Decker will go insane. <laughs> he goes nuts. <laughs> yeah, of course. That would be so cool to see. Oh, oh but he please has also, just drop it. He has also Cranko, so you can make just more tokens. Okay, now you say Krenko. For me, Goblin, it's like I so something from Mars or something. I, I, no I saw a basic land, it was just a swamp. Yeah. I, would you waste Tommy? Uh, depends on uh, the cards I have, <laughs> I think. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's 
is he now just, but, but just you, putting you, things you, into play? Or? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 he's being some out for it. I didn't saw it happening. And there's the Granko making five goblins. This is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> I hope we see a reason okay. No, okay. I hope you don't see it and it matters it, it, the last game. This game yeah, is already yeah, yeah, yeah. in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> um, Granko, I don't know the cards. I think it no makes a token for every other non token goblin that's in play. No, for each other goblin, goblin. into play. For each other goblin. Yeah. Okay. So Very good guess for me. And now he's going to swing with the team. Oh, and they faced. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, because the, the, the uh, war chief. War chief, yeah. If it would have been the chieftain. The, so, uh, the war chief is actually better in this deck. But I this played the looks chieftain, but very bad for Tom the Decker. Uh, the, the, the pile driver it was yeah, for the, lethal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. It got supposed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight. It, so it was like 17 damage only yeah. for the pile driver. And now he still takes 5, 7, Too much. 9 damage. Yeah. So going at 5. He's going to 5, yes. And this is what I mean with goblins. Like last turn, he didn't. He just had two creatures, and now he has mm. this much. So, but isn't this game set much already? Like Tom the Decker's on five. He has a Bitter Blossom on the field. Maybe he plays Toxic Deluge. But right. still, he has Bitter Blossom yeah, on the field. Yeah, no, but yeah. You, you can't win the race anymore from nineteen to five no. if you have Bitter Blossom. You only have four turns to play anymore. Yeah, the fifth turn is dead. Him up. Okay. <laughs> He's seen enough. <laughs> yeah. But he hasn't seen the reason why this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The last game is going to matter. Loyalist. So, so I, I'm correct. Maybe, maybe, you say maybe. this is a list from 10 years ago or something? Yeah, maybe. So it, it was somewhere on the Yetic. Um, <laughs> and uh, he just found it last week. And he brought it today. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Either. How cool would it because be if he just to win this match? He can also play Goblin Tinkerer. It's like like artifact removal in Goblins like 20 years ago. But yeah, it's yeah, from yeah. Marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so now you have the Trash Master that's like yeah. 50 times this, as good as Yeah, and, uh, and the, the Crater Breaker is also like gazillion yeah, times because better. Like, <laughs> because it's yeah. going blow up Emrakul. Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. So, um, yeah, if um, Nico would to take us down against the Tom the Decker, it would be a little bit... Yeah. Yeah. Strange, and, but okay. No, but it's a good, uh, it's a good, yeah, example uh, to say you don't have to have an expensive deck to win in Legacy, because most of the people think that uh, Legacy is an expensive format, all the, those expensive cards. But here you see Nico a lot. The most expensive card in this whole deck is like the Caverns of Soul on the Wastelands, I guess. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and that's yeah. But I always say um, Legacy isn't expensive at all. No, it depends like, on what you want to play. I, I always say it's like for free. Yeah. It's like an investment. Yeah. You buy the cards yeah. for 3,000 euros. You have a deck. An apple and an eye, this. What? An apple and an eye. <laughs> an apple and an eye. <laughs> um, yes, but, but the cards, they, they keep their value at that moment. So, okay, it, it's like, it doesn't cost a lot. It's, no, it goes, it's, only it's goes a big up. investment yeah. to do. So, yeah, I say okay, it's not unless expensive, you, unless it's, it's you a big invest investment. Unless you in stupid cards, like uh, resets, or I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> Reset is also an expensive card, but I wouldn't invest in it. Yeah, okay. okay. But, but just to say, if you, you want to play um, a legacy deck, the investment is high, yeah. but... The reward afterwards is normally exactly the same as you put it in. And if you want to play the most expensive deck in Legacy, you just have to jam four tabernacles in the sideboard. <laughs> and let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to... But it would be very good against Tom Decker at this yeah, point. Yeah, but would, uh, would it also keep his creatures? So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, maybe it, that's... Uh, he just had skirt prospectors to... He wanted to borrow maybe some tabernacles for something so he can sack his goblins to pay for the <laughs> other goblins. <laughs> and it's the deck with Cranko, so you make the double amount of goblins you have, you sack the half of them with the tokens with, with the Skirk Prospector, you pay for your own tabernacle, and then you bash him to, to death because you can't pay his upkeep. That's the whole tag, but he didn't he borrow tabernacles. Uh, he forgot the tabernacle. <laughs> 
I, I really like it a lot how you see all the possibilities in a deck three. So it's, uh, it's very insane. Very insane. Um, we are already here for game three. I have no idea how much time you have left. You have 14 minutes left. I have, all the time. Minutes. I have all the time left. <laughs> for goblins, it's like you can play three games at this 15 minute, 14 minutes if you want. If your uh, yeah, opponent doesn't dirtle too much, of course. <laughs> yeah. But it's like uh, he f he doesn't if force with the force is eight or file because yeah he has to, kind of has to. Yeah, of course he has to. Is it a bad situation for goblins if you lead out with either file and he hits force into force? It's like no, the biggest because... card does advantage. Tom the decker can have now. All the other goblins are close to free to drop at this moment. Yeah, but. It still has a force in the hand. I don't know. Yeah, if you just you just have to force because otherwise your force isn't worth anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, of course, but I don't think for a goblin player, if they force something, they don't the mind turn, because yeah. you have the ringleaders. They are so much card advantage. If they you yeah, can just indeed. hit two, three goblins. If there's a major and a ringleader, you're just going to get, yep. go back at it again. And as well, um, we see again. Yeah, of course he hits a pile driver because he plays four of them. Yeah. <laughs> so we always have a pile driver. And yeah, then the Baleful Strict is not that good. <laughs> no, no. So if he just can drop some extra gums, it can go very fast again. Uh, yeah. He can swing him like in three turns from this moment. But I think Tom has an answer for it because he didn't want to fo use a force or maybe didn't have blue card to force, I don't know. Because he's using the brainstorm at the yeah, I, I think the only card was brainstorm um, as blue card, so then he should have pitched right, so the brainstorm at that moment. Then respond? you're completely dead with your hands. He has no red mana. I think he has a young pyromancer in hand, so he didn't want to pitch brainstorm at that moment. I think it, it could be a complete but what is going to do now? For for block, block, with, block with pyromancer. I don't know what that's, Thomas that's is possibility. Hand. If you, if you just can drop the pyromancer. At yeah. this moment, that you can make two tokens, you can block the pile driver with it. Yeah, sure. So. But yeah, I don't know. I think all the ways are not that good, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I do. don't think. Yeah, Tom needs to answer this pile driver, but Tom maybe also thinks he only has two in his list. Just mm -hmm. lightning bolts. He can answer. So, but. Oh, actually, Tom the Decker's only one source to blow shares in his deck. One Fatal Push, two Lightning Bolts. Yeah, he hasn't had... He hasn't a lot of... Um, removal? Removal, no. actually. No, so. it's more of the token cool stuff thingies. Yeah. <laughs> token cool stuff thingies. Okay. Yeah, I am. <laughs> there are 10 minutes remaining. On our clock it's 11, but we're yeah. always... The, the streaming tables are always started one minute would later. You the not rest from the would you swing there with your pile driver? At this moment, I, I would, would. I would swing I there would. with my pile driver. Of course. I would, I would always trade I against the pyromancer. I would trade for the pyromancer. Indeed. If he now makes two tokens, then you have to trade against two tokens. Yeah. So, yeah. You definitely need to swing at that moment with the pile driver. And that's um, why I see Tom. And the other one is War Chief. Uh, it's War Chief. It other goblins get haste, or he has haste uh, as well. All goblins get ha All goblins have haste, and each goblin creature costs one. Uh, one less. less. Yeah. So he has haste from his own as well. Yeah. So shouldn't you just swing with? Or both I don't know then? from its own, but this has haste. Uh, no, because the Strix would uh, trade into the. Okay, the Strix was the Strix wasn't tapped at that moment. No, no okay. just Tom just attacked with it. Yeah. But now Tom has all mana open, so... Couple lucky. Yeah, but as Tom answers... Yeah, yeah he has another, supposed to... Here's another pile driver in his hand. And an incinerator. So... But still he's choosing to play another pile driver. But you yeah. use incinerator for... I don't know, um, maybe it was a prospect. I don't know. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Play, play o otherwise, I think it would be always the correct play to destroy the young fire Yeah, this but moment. now it's like hmm, Tom has to do something, make tokens. He can just kill something because he has to block the pile drive. Yeah. Because they're right and this is always the correct call, of course. You have five goblins with yeah, these. Yeah, and he attacks with the strings. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's lethal. 
I think it is. It's I'm like sure of this. Seven, yeah. It's like seven, no. Uh, nine for each pile driver. Yeah, that's ten, already 11. 18, 20. It's like for 22 at this moment. Yeah. He needs to block a pile driver. No, he needs he, to, he needs to find answers. Yeah. yeah, maybe he has a lightning bolt, fatal push, yeah. something. Lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah but still, yeah. it's lightning not. Bolt. The pile drivers have the buff, so he has to block the pile driver. Or bolt pile driver, also yeah. good. Um, token. The buff is the triggered ability. Uh, is yeah. this a response on a trigger then, I believe? No, I didn't think so. I don't think so, Tom did that. Because um, Tom is yeah. just going to block with a token. Shouldn't he so say at this moment, um, before attackers, I destroy um, the... I don't if, know. If you, if you want to lightning bolts... I think yeah. you have to do it I, I think you have to do it before attackers. I'm not sure, of course, maybe they talked about um, wait uh, before attackers oh. want to do this. But he has also... Culligan's command. command. That's a good one at this moment. Uh, that destroy destroys something lot. and discard something. Or the other something. pile driver. Cool. No? I, I, I wouldn't destroy the pile driver at this moment. I would destroy uh, Actually, it doesn't, ma doesn't matter, Lenky. Uh, <laughs> no, but you can block as well. Uh, you have yeah. two tokens at this moment. Actually, you can clear the complete board. Yeah. That's, I think, the better for No, I would leave the... Maybe leave the Chieftain, let them the... What? He discard the Matron. What has he left in hand, then? Then uh, it has leader. to be a very good card. Yeah, if it has to be the Ringleader major or a Siege Gang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not sure. So this is something completely else. We yeah. said it was for a little. Um, he's setting for two. Yeah. <laughs> this whole board is uh, wiped away at this moment. Um, yeah, Colgan's command, it, it's a real... It's always too far. Yeah, of course. But yeah. it's, it's a powerhouse. It, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Discard the card, two damage on the creature, can destroy an artifact. It, it's, it's it's very good card. Maybe just a little bit underplayed in the deck as well. I'm it's sure. underplayed, but it still costs three mana. That's the whole dirtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So two for ones are always very good. If you're playing yeah. a little bit controlish um, decks, it's two for ones are. And now I want to see a ringleader. Good. Yeah, if it's not a ringleader. Oh, it's another major. Okay. So, but didn't he draw? He had the he land. Yeah, draw the land. Yeah. He drew a land. He had two matrons in hand. Ah, yeah, two matrons in hand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that would be the only logic uh, ex explanation at this moment. Why would he get Siege Gang? Um, I would get Incinerator, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's correct. Ringleader or Incinerator, I would get. Because you can destroy the Pyroman, so you don't want to get more tokens at your face. But yeah. he forgot in the last match as well, when the triggers on the stack to make the tokens to use, like, for instance, now the Matron to kill the Pyroman. So yeah. Yeah. let's see if he maybe sees it now. Nah, wouldn't count. Nah, no, wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't count on a So, but still, um, for Tom the Decker, there are only like five minutes left. Yeah, because the clock's a little bit too high. Um, there are only five minutes left. Well, Nico's yeah. still at 19. Yeah. You still have to win. But you like can swing in a lot at this moment, because if Nico can drop um, a ringleader into other creatures, he, he swings you. Um, for a lot more than Tom the Decker can swing Nico at this moment. Yeah. So it's but it's also like Tom the Decker's deck is doing what it's supposed to do, commander. except for the opposition part of it. And he's still having trouble against the goblins that's actually not going full speed. No, no. Yeah, we saw the second game, then it went yeah, then pretty it, fast. Yeah, yeah, but now it's like. Went slower it, against it the Wasteland, but. You want to see your ringleaders because you get the cards going. Yeah. Now he's out of gas. If he draws a land next turn, it's not looking good, and so uh, and so on and so on. But so like, it's not looking. Uh, I'm it's not, not looking bad. Not looking good. It's, it's not it's looking bad, but it's like it's you can attack with the tokens. You don't have cards in hand, and if, you want, if you're a gun player, you can always have cards in hand. Yeah, yeah, of course. Whatever deck I play, I want to have cards in hand unless I'm playing a snaring bridge. Yeah, okay. Yeah? But. No way point. So I, I don't think Nico was in a very bad position over here. Except if the Siege Gang gets killed now. 
You want to see? Yeah, Gang's yeah. Okay. Is this is the Siege Gang days alive? I would even attack with the three tokens and the mage from here. Yeah. Why not? I would as well. I would as well. But I think uh, Nico is too careful, carefully playing. I don't know. I always have the idea if you're playing. Yeah, maybe just wait aggressive. one turn. Maybe wait one turn. Why? Because now we have some blockers. Yeah, but yeah. you don't care because your blockers were free with the creature you cast. And you just trade with everything on the board. Why not just swing into it? Yeah. But they're all two tunes. What? The chief then doesn't. No, do it's it. a war chief. Ah. No, if it were all two tunes, then you should have swings. Yeah, no, very hard. That's why yeah. I'm wondering. Um, that's, that's I would just swing then. now because the other one has a bitter blossom, like you were saying. Yeah. And yeah, he's keep he's just losing life, so. Yeah, indeed. And now he's swinging with one token. I don't know if you want to do that, but. There's a snapcaster. Colligan's command. It, no, it's the no, lightning bolt. He, he fails one mana to find the. See, look, it's just clearing up the siege gang. Yep. And this is why you are now in a bad spot because you get. Yeah, at game. this moment, yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm convinced he should have uh, taken ringleader instead of a uh, siege yeah. gang with the smite You uh, can that get was a bad play, much yeah. worse goblins then, but still yep. you have the, you have the goblins. Now you have. And tokens I think you could have attacked with last turn. I think what you said just happened. He drew land. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it was land that I saw. Yeah, this is I what I'm meaning. Nice. I would never get siege gang in this situation. If it was a goblin, it was already on the battlefield as well. Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would you wait at this moment? Every goblin is good to play now. Yeah, it's true. But I would have sw swing. You already said pass. Yep. Past yeah, the Tom the Decker. still not swaying with the one ones. I don't get it. All of Tom the Decker's boards ties to it. Yep. And you have the lead, the life total lead. Why yep. not use it? But still, there are only two minutes left. Nico's still on eighteen at this moment. Yeah. Tom the Decker can swing in completely at this moment because then he. Yeah, th there are creatures in Nico's deck. If it drops, it dies. He dies in one turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But yeah, Tom the Decker is just going to swing with his fairies. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you you have to at this moment. He, he knows as well there's only one minute left at this moment. Then, uh, then you have to swing with your creatures. So maybe he, sure he can't lose the game at this moment anymore? Uh, yeah? I wouldn't say that too quickly because... It's like I said, he's not experienced with the format. Oh, and Nico drew another land. Ugh. So, um... What, if, what happens if Nico plugs the public spider pieces and blows up all the tokens and kills them? It's easy. I think that's easy for him. Right? But did he board him in? I don't yeah, know if he board him in because... Like, oh, there you have the question. Intuition. Let's see what he takes. I think he takes a lot souls. of lingering souls. Because he wants Three to have tokens, souls, flyers. He wants in. to get the pressure going. He can still yeah. win in the last five turns. Yeah. I think, I think so Tom well. the Decker is now going to win if he just takes. You see, that's one lingering souls. I think he just has to go double lingering souls, flashback one of triple lingering souls if he can. Yeah, I think he will do that as well. Get a token, an elemental token. Only I wouldn't turtle. It's time and around. Block was pretty accurate. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> so, but. The judge just called time in a round. That means Nico has three more turns. Yeah. And Tom the Decker has only two more turns yeah, this to play. I just so what do you do now at this moment? You give uh, Tom Why the Decker the Lingering land? Souls. I don't know, because he has one Lingering Souls on hand. He's explaining and he needs, he needs the white mana. He needs the white mana to cast Lingering Souls oh, um, yeah, out yeah, of yeah. his hand at this moment. Does and he, he have one on hand? Otherwise, you always take um, three ling lingering souls at this moment. He only has two turns left, so it doesn't matter. So oh, whatever yeah, you see. Oh, and he did give the Land. tundra. Yeah. Oh, that I think it was the bad decision. I yeah, always would have given him, him, him a lingering soul yeah, because he would have cast. Uh, o stuck in his hand. Yeah. Of course, we know uh, he has three in uh, his deck. Yeah. Uh, Nico didn't know, but. Uh, it's He's also definitely the He only has two white sources. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two? <laughs> two white sources. The
the tundra is just uh, beds of uh, yeah and uh, and a scrub land. land. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Turn one. Is the, are they keeping track of it or? No. Um, there is called the time the when uh, Tom the Decker was playing oh, his turn. Actively. No, it was. Oh no, but it was the end of Deco's turn. That they call time. So Tom has three turns. No, 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 no. no. At the beginning of um, Tom the Decker's turn, they call time. No, no, so. no. Because now he's untapping and attacking. No. Tom the Decker is still attacking. I'm sure what's happening. No, so no, no. Tom I think Tom has three turns, and you think Nico has three turns. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of my idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's heading in. Nico goes to nine, and um, there's the first lingering souls. Gets yep. the elemental. Gets the now you see what happened. Um, he did give Tom the Decker um, the land. Yeah, and now he can. He has the lingering souls on hand, so now he can make two tokens, and next turn he can make four tokens again. Otherwise, he only could have made two tokens. Yeah, and that's it. So. Now he has four more tokens. can now make six tokens. Yeah, with the Pyromancer yeah. as well. Yeah, it makes uh, some extra tokens indeed. But yeah, I, don't, I think Nico is just going to have to shake hands and... Yeah, I drew an so. Aether Vial. He just went in the mist with uh, the Siege Gang. With the Siege Gang, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, and that's shake. it. Tom the Decker takes it down. It's 2-1 for the Durdles. You can now go ask Tom the Decker if he had three turns or Nico had three 